Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you how to model this. Let's go. So now that's not that easy to model because if you look at it closely, uh, these are kind of like two cylinders flowing into one another, right? It's kind of like an infinite loop situation. So it's a bit tricky to model and I... You know, I was thinking about it and actually found a cool way to do it, so I want to show you, okay? So we're going to actually keep that here because I want to show you uh, what's what. So what we need is um, either two cylinders or to some kind of a round, you know, objects. And I actually chose circles because they're much easier to control because there's less geo. So shift A and let's add the circle. Uh, let's actually go to uh, regular view. Uh, let's go here and the circle and you can go with the default one 32 vertices right let's bring it in here okay and then we need to shift the y and move this one in here and r y and 90 because you know this one needs to be rotated all right so now we got these two circles now if you're gonna look uh you know at this item here let's just bring these uh sort of overlaying them here on top of it right you see that what we need to do now, we need to offset this circle, okay, this one here on the bottom. We need to offset it a little bit to the right. You seen this? Because it needs to imitate this, uh, sort of like follow this wall on the right side, right? So with this circle in, in place here, so this one can be moved a little bit closer, right? What we need to do is we need to move this one a little bit out, okay? But then when we're going to go here, right, uh, you can see that clearly... Uh, this circle in the middle needs to be lower, right? So we need to drop it lower here. So then when we're going to mirror it up, uh, we're going to be able to do that um, because we need to, you know, mirror it up and create this secondary layer here, right? So with these two set now, what we can do is turn that off, Alt X, and let's, you know, let's start. So what we're going to do now is we're going to combine them into one, so Control, uh, Control J, right? To combine them into one object and we're going to uh, delete that part because we don't need it this half and we also don't need the top half here okay so we can delete that right and we need to combine these two into one flowing um you know shape so first of all uh we're going to you know start moving these vertices towards the shape here like this and this one is to move the other way, right? So we could actually even delete these and uh, start moving this one down here, this one here. And we could actually introduce another vert here, so subdivide it and move it in a little bit to just, you know, bend it like that. And there are different tools that we're going to be using. You could be using, for example, free add-on called mirror tools to sort of adjust the curve here. But we're also going to be using uh, loop tools. I'll show you in a second. You know, manually, you don't have to be super precise. Manually kind of, you know, readjust. It's a kind of flows naturally uh, one into another. And these ones combine with F, okay? And you got this kind of a naturally flowing shape. And if you want to make it even more natural, what you're going to do, what you want to do is uh, select the verts, right click, go to loop tools and relax, okay? And shift R a few times to relax it. And if you don't have loop tools, what you can do, go here to edit preferences and it's a blender add-on called loop tools. Just, you know, enable it here, loop tools, okay? And it's a very good add-on. It's amazing. So now what we need to do is we need to mirror this to the other side, right? I'm going to be using a mesh machine with Altex uh, in edit mode. But if you don't have Mesh Machine, you can use Hard Ops, you know, uh, Alt X, D, Symmetry, and Symmetrize. Or in Edit Mode, you could select everything and go here to Mesh and Symmetrize here. And here, the same thing, but you have to be careful here, because if you're going to Symmetrize it now, the origin point is in here. So if I do it now, you're going to get something like this. What we need to do is we need to move the origin point to the cursor. So Shift S and with Machine Tools. And if you don't have Machine Tools and you don't know how to use it, it's a free add-on. You can go ahead and watch my videos on how to use it. I have two hour videos on it, so go ahead and watch it. In fact, if you guys want to learn more about Blender itself, we have a fantastic free course, which is called Hard Surface Jumpstart, and it will teach you everything you need to know about menus, you know, all the things at the beginning, uh, like movement, basic notes, modeling, rendering, all that stuff. So I highly recommend you guys grab it, link in the video description. It's on our website and it's free. So enjoy. Anyway, shift S and move the vert to cursor. I mean, not the vert, the origin point to cursor. 
and now when I'm gonna mirror this this is gonna happen okay and now you look at that we got this beautiful kind of a round shape going on so now what we need to do is we need to lock you know close it right so select you know four faces press F select these two hold F and uh, well don't close it completely uh, leave maybe uh, the five birds in here let's just run a loop across this later on and we're gonna create a quad over there because we might need quads for sub d i know sacrilege is using sub d what the fuck is going on with the world man so let's grab here this loop and select these four and f and mirror here and then mirror here for some reason doesn't want to mirror which is fascinating oh wait because we moved the origin point now let's move the origin point back to geometry so to geometry and then mirror boom there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab the um, uh, these verts here, press F, select these two, hold F and just lock this shape here. And let me see how many we have here. It's also five, let's do that. Select these four and F, mirror here, mirror here. And let's just, you know, close it down. So in fact, you could uh, use machine tools to, to close it. Uh, by using um, four and and then just simply layer and boom and sharpen and now you got this you know impossible shape done right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean that because you can see we got some double verts here and there so um, go to edit mode press through with, mach uh, with machine tools go here to hard ops press Q control shift to recalculate sharpen and we are peachy so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually save that so we don't lose it cool and now we can subdivide it so Control 2 and you know it's gonna hold right beautiful so now you got a really you know beautiful flowy shape you can even add some uh, chamfer to it if you want to it's all quad based so you know you can have some fun there's a bit of a problem here but we can fix this let me see what's happening in here uh, we got some a bit of a beef with our, uh, you know, with our topology here, but we can beat this. Let me see here. Uh, we could just simply uh, move this a little bit farther away, or we could create another loop here, um, maybe like this, and create another loop here, and EF. And do something like this and simply dissolve these and combine these alt x alt x to the top and then let's try to do this again okay so click alt click and yeah we go that's better we can turn off loop slide uh, to make it really you know uh, clean and there you go and then you know since you have a sub d what you can do you can start cutting it guys so watch this i can grab a circle and i can cut a hole here in the middle okay in the middle of the shape which is going to be a little bit difficult to find let me just turn off this sub d for a second uh sub d turn it off uh that's better uh let's draw a circle here in the middle and let's cut it that's a little bit too uh, maybe too close to the edge Maybe something like this. And then here the same thing, you know. I'm using, by the way, hard ups dots for this. Let me try this in a non-orthographic view. Probably going to be better. There we go. Uh, there you go. This should be a middle. That's a middle, I think. Yeah, I think so. And now we can turn back the, the sub D on and the bevel's going to, I mean, the boolean is going to hold. Um, no problem. And you're thinking, well, but how the hell are we going to, you know, create bevels and all that? Don't worry about it, I'll show you. So let's just have a scroll this, and you see that we got some shading problems. So what we need to do is we introduce some, you know, some loops here, a little bit here, and the same here, have a scroll. So scroll that, and it is some loops. Boom, there we go. So it's going to fix the shading a bit. And now we can even add this kind of a chamfer here. Um, by working with our cutter so select the face here alt n to flip the face and then you can bevel it outside like this 
and now we get some problem with the shading but we can fix it by the uh, auto smooth angle so let's go to sharpen and shift click on sharpen through hard ups and it's gonna fix our shading then we can just you know uh, mirror this to the other side uh, with hard ups boom do the same thing here so you know ever scroll and grab a face alt and flip Control b and uh, just mirror to the other side and the cutter and bob jungle and then you can start having some fun so for example here uh, we could go to this cutter and select these uh, elements here in the middle and e cancel alt s and move them for example to the middle here and uh, you know this is a cutter so we can actually now chamfer the cutter inside like this and there you go and then i also i think what i've done in the previous example i slice it here from the top so select this main shape and create like a really thin slice here in the middle uh, this shape is mirrored so uh, we're gonna recover the cutter make it thinner on x-axis it's really thin and shift d y move it here to the front and difference you know and then uh, what we can do is grab this main shape and select uh, select these here all across the shape here we have to be accurate because we can always you know mirror it q and shift click on curve extract we're gonna get some beef but the one about it is caused by the boolean so we can just remove all the booleans temporarily um, and see what we're gonna get mirror it to the other side there we go now uh, we could actually work a little bit with sub d here to kind of stretch this um, make it a bit more you know um, uh, sharp here on the corner the same thing in the bottom we could add some loop here in the bottom to make it a bit more sharp and the top could be cut with an end gun like this for example right and maybe b for bevel and uh, you know boom right and then mirror to the other side right and we're gonna run sharpen here so sharpen until this edge here snaps and boom and you know next thing what you want to do for example you could just run some cuts here so um, run a cut maybe here through this so run it like that and then recover it and then GX move it in here and cut this one and then select them both and mirror to the other side which didn't work for some reason alt x press x a and one more time oh uh, that's weird uh, let me select this one and mirror there we go and that worked and uh, what i've done here guys is i converted into mesh so visual to mesh and i selected these uh, elements here right and i separated them to selection and I converted them to glass. So Alt M and shift click on this one, and we got the glass. And you know, we're going to grab that and we're going to close this shape. Okay, that's important. So select these and you know close it. So press F, select these and just close it. So it's not, you know, it's manifold. Select this loop here and bevel this or chamfer it a little bit. And we can actually bevel this one manually okay that's okay because this is easy to that no booleans this is easy to be um to you know to to fix this one mirror this across and mirror this one across after the boolean so let me see that is it fixed i hope so um no it's not we need to actually close it as well here so let's close this here uh press f and not these these and these two right f nope jesus i can't see uh these two and these two i think there we go and then just close the whole shape around there you go mirror to the other side and you're done and you got the glass here in the middle we could actually scale this a bit so shift s to select it uh, let me just see uh, shift s and to geometry there we go and we could scale them a little bit to it's a z fighting you see that z fighting you could scale them just a tiny bit to remove the z fighting effect you're gonna get a clean glass here and guys that's it you know and the screws by the way they're really easy they're from hard ops so um from kit ops uh, it's a it's a free inserts by master zeon from gumroad you can use them with free kit ops links to kit ops and the inserts in the video description hard ops by the way as well all the links in the video description always guys 
Uh, so go here to insert and we're gonna grab uh, this one and then add insert. Um, you can add it somewhere here. Alt art reset rotation R Y uh, 90 and we're gonna scale this, move it somewhere here and then go to edit mode, uh, select everything with A, Alt H to unhide it, close this bit here with a face and then we're going to uh, scale it a bit, extrude it and kind of chamfer it like this, so it's poking and sharpen and then we're going to remove all this garbage I'm going to use our own mats, so move it somewhere here, scale it and move it here, Alt Z so you can see through uh, this mesh here, move it in the middle, we're going to have to rotate it a bit uh, I mean move it in a bit, so here and just simply mirror to the other side, Alt Z done. And that's it, that's your shape. Now if you wanna see how the glass was made, and uh, there's actually my previous video that I posted I think three days ago, is on how to create really cool glass and how to remove reflections in cycles. So why don't you watch that video, it's really cool. Let me just visual to mesh here, and let me see, uh, these probably could be removed. Let me just get rid of these very quickly. In fact, we could just get rid of these. Dissolve, and this one on the bottom, dissolve. Let me see that, hang on. Uh, maybe this one is gonna be better. There we go. And you know, this one, I think we could dissolve it as well. There we go, it's gonna be kind of straighter. And uh, here we could just, you know, bevel this. Let me just go here and see what the hell is going on. I need to remove it on this side as well. So let's just remove these um, here. And then the one on the bottom, not this one. Um, this one. And I think we're good, right? Yeah. So now I can grab this one and, you know, bevel this. And move to the other side. And the same here on the bottom. We could just bevel this a little bit. So bevel it like that and you know mirror to the other side. This could be chamfered. Now if you if you're struggling with chamfers on situations like this, you need mesh machine. Click alt click Y and we're gonna go to offset cut and this is an experimental version, you need to enable it in mesh machine and then we're gonna run a chamfer here and Bob Jungle. And you know mats, I just use BSDF mats guys, these regular mats, you know, nothing fancy, okay? So just Alt M and you know, add a mat and uh, uh, nothing fancy, okay? You just, uh, you know, um, make sure that it's a little bit brighter and metallic, okay? And uh, not as rough, needs to be a bit reflective. And there you go there's your object and this glass again watch my video the previous video on the glass uh, because it will teach you how to actually uh, fix the glass here how to remove the reflections of the hgri from the glass this could be the same matte but we can make it darker so click here uh, duplicate it and make it darker this one could be the same here boom done okay well that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one actually wait no i lied um, I have to still show you how to create bevel. <laughs> All right, so uh, when you have BSDF mod plugged in, guys, it's a joke, okay? What you do is open your shader editor, right? You go to object and here, under normal, shift A, bevel, and you plug in bevel. Now, what you need to do, you need to make sure that this bevel isn't too big because it's gonna look, you know, gonna look crazy. So I would just increase the uh, samples to like 9 and lower this down to maybe 0 0.03 or something or 0 0.05. There we go, starts getting something, maybe even 7. Okay, and you're going to get this nice round barrel. And if you zoom out, you know, you can't bloody tell the difference. It literally looks like beveled mesh. You can make it more round, less round, and if you render it, it's gonna look superb. So if you have stuff like this, for instance, you know, and you really need some bevel on it, very easily, Control C, Control V, plug it, done. And this one is a bit too big, you see, so you need to make it smaller. So let's make it, you know, really small, something like that, okay? 
and this one could be a separate mod so separate mod maybe larger so 0 0.5 okay and when you render this is going to look really nice um, in addition to that you could still run some chamfers so click out oh you could actually grab this bit here and run the chamfer run the chamfer here like this here symmetrize it and done right and you get a nice you know flowy chamfer it's still it's a bit messed up in here to be honest we could just lower it down a bit so maybe connect it here like this to open it up a bit and there you go so anyway guys that's uh, that's it now for real thanks for watching see you in the next one